Did you know you can steal traffic from the competition by using special tools and techniques? You can find lucrative keywords that are generally hidden for most people. In 10 years of doing local SEO, this is my biggest competitive advantage. Peter Thiel says successful businesses are based on secrets. Level. There are a lot of things that I call secrets, which are truths that are hard but possible to, to discover. I think there is always a secret at the core of every great business. There's something. The famous billionaire Ray Dalio used satellite images to predict oil stock prices by counting the number of oil tankers and ports, analyzing the supply and predict price movements in the oil market. The smart ones all exercise information arbitrage. Some forms are illegal like insider trading. But in local SEO, anything is fair game. In the digital world, it is information that allows you to win. You see, while everybody is asking how long does it take to rank, you can be the smart one and go after keywords that people are not even paying attention to. Dominate them with zero competition. In this video, I'm going to share with you all the elite strategies of keyword research that allows you to pick off these keywords so you can increase your traffic and sales predictably. And stick around till the end because I'm going to explain why ranking for these other keywords will help you rank for the main keyword as well. All right, so I want to go over some keyword research strategy here. Let's say you're trying to rank for roofing Chicago. What you're going to want to do is study the top competition, right? Now, what I'm about to show you is the free method. This, you don't need any expensive Ahrefs. This technique will allow you to steal some keywords from competitors without those paid tools. So we're at the top here. Let's check out matthewsroofing.com. Take their URL and do forward slash sitemap. Dot XML. What this is going to do is pull up all their pages on the site. They don't really have that many posts, so most of their pages are under pages sitemap. So pages here, you have a whole list. Let's highlight all these URLs. Control copy, go to ChatGPT and tell it to please give me a full list of keywords from this sitemap. And ChatGPT is going to start listing all the different keywords that this sitemap is trying to rank for. Now, as you can see, they have 83 pages, but a lot of these keywords are not even buyer intent keywords, like some plastic project, Chicago church project, motors project. So we're not interested in going after those kind of keywords. We're interested in going after buyer intent keywords. The keywords where when people search in, they're looking to buy something or hopefully our services. I'm gonna ask it again to chat GPT. Please only list buyer intent keywords from the above list. Okay, now Ch chat GPT is gonna give us only keywords that has a buyer intent as their competitor I want to go after these keywords I also want to go after keywords that they are not targeting so this is how we're gonna find that go to epay.com go to tools epay's keyword research tool and then hit roof repair generate keywords so we got a bunch of keywords here all about roof repair I'm gonna highlight it as you can see they're really not targeting as many intent keywords as they could that are more problem specific they have words like commercial roof repair commercial roof maintenance concrete tile roof system but if you take a look at this list we have roof sheathing repair roof truss repair roof repair and to just to show you the importance of going after all these specific keywords is that if I go to Google type in roof Roof Trust Repair Chicago, the number one site for Chicago roofing is not coming up on page one, which is Matt Thieves Roofing. And notice when you go more specific, the map listing stops showing up either. So even without map listing, when you create these articles targeting specific keywords, you're gonna begin getting traffic and leads. On the right, you will see certain, some keyword suggestions by the Keywords Everywhere plugin. Don't worry that some of these says zero. Just the fact that it's showing there, it shows that people are searching for this on Google. At the very least, you're gonna start ranking for these types of keywords that's showing zero, or even just search volume of 50, because those big companies are not going after these keywords, which means you will rank much faster on page one and start gaining impression on your site. And as you show 
Google that your site is gaining or increasing in impression over time, it's going to gather what's called historical data. And this is what's going to allow your site to begin to rank for those tougher keywords over time. If you do site semicolon search of their site, it says that they have 92 pages. And then again, the sitemap, their sitemap page like popped up here, but you can see a lot of these pages are about their projects that they've done. So despite this company being one of the biggest roofing companies in Chicago, they're not totally maximizing the amount of revenue that they can generate just because their content marketing team didn't do a good enough job of keyword research. Yes, most people in this niche going to search for roof repair or roof installation. However, there's always going to be people with specific problems that are going to search more long tail keywords. Being an expert at finding long tail keywords with high buyer intent, it can make you magnitudes better at SEO. Not to mention the fact that long tail keywords are becoming more searched over the years. Every year on Google, average query length becomes longer. 10 years ago, even three word queries were long tail. Now actually long tail start from five words nearly. So every year, long tail keywords, they are getting even more long tail because people started to even talk to the search bar. They even don't type anymore. This is gonna make the biggest difference in your SEO career. When you can find keywords that your competition hasn't targeted, you can literally rank within days instead of months. One of the most common questions asked to SEO agency by a client is how long does it take to rank? And in my opinion, most people do a poor job of answering this question by saying, you know, it can take anywhere from six months to a year, but they're all thinking about ranking for the main keyword, for example, like roofing Chicago, but you shouldn't set the expectation on trying to rank for this main keyword, especially in a competitive market like Chicago and for roofing. There's other factors, like I mentioned before, that's allowing these sites to rank at the top for such difficult keywords, such as direct traffic, because that brand has such a strong presence. Instead, you should be educating that client on the understanding that what matters at the end of the day is generating more traffic, ranking for buyer intent keywords, and generating more leads that turn into revenue. And if that is the goal, then we don't have to worry about ranking for the main keyword. We can rank for these high buyer intent, long tail keywords, and still generate more revenue for the company you're doing SEO for. Which is why using tools like the keyword research tool that I built on epay.com is gonna become really handy for you guys. Now, here's me using a pay tool called Ahrefs to find keywords from the competition, pull their site up, go to organic keywords. And this tool basically gives you all the different keywords that this company is ranking for. And as you can see, like their homepage is mostly ranking for most of the keywords here, like roofing contractor, roofing company in Chicago. So they're getting a lot of business, but they're not ranking for more longer tail keywords too much, which is how somebody with a lot less domain age and a big brand like Matthews Roof can come in and start picking off keywords from big companies like this because most big companies don't do extensive keyword research. In local SEO, most people don't do advanced tracking, so they have no idea when they get a phone call what that person was searching for to find their brand or their site. So for big companies, they're just satisfied if they're ranking for the main keywords like roofing, roof repair, roof installation, commercial roofing. Granted, you know, huge portions of the traffic is going to come from these main keywords. I'm not saying you shouldn't go after these keywords and try to outrank your competition. However, when you're just starting out and you're in a big competitive market and they have way more budget than you, sometimes it's not economically feasible to go head to head with these big companies for the main keywords. If you're doing SEO for a client, then sometimes it's smarter to go after these long tail keywords that are much cheaper to rank for. That way you get some new traffic coming in to keep your client happy so they don't cancel on you. And over time, you can work your way up to competing for the bigger main keywords. You can go to the left here, top pages, organic search, and this will give you all the different pages that's generating all the traffic on their site. So mostly it's homepage. And then you got like Chicago roof inspections, Chicago concrete tile roof system, Chicago metal roof system. Obviously you wanna recreate all these pages that's getting the traffic, but as you can see, most of their traffic is coming from the homepage and maybe five, six, seven, eight. Now that doesn't mean you don't wanna build other pages because the site has been around for a long time so that they have a lot more ranking factors that allow them to be at the top of the search engine for the main keywords how long this company has been around the reputation of this company and this website and this brand gets a lot of direct search 
but you as a newcomer, you want to come in and prove to Google that you are able to generate more impression over time. So you're going to be building all these different pages that various keyword tools are going to tell you. You can also try checking out organic competitors in Ahrefs and check out companies with a lot of keywords like reliable-roofing.com. Right away, you can see that they have a lot of like pages that are ranking for keywords versus just the home page. So I believe this company did a better job at content marketing and creating articles that target other keywords other than the main keyword. You got words like bitumen roofing, which is a type of asphalt roofing, TPO roof cleaner, TPO roof cleaning. Let's go to just their top pages and their top page isn't even their home page, which is for pros and cons of mo modified bitumen roofing. They must be ranking for this keyword on a national level. That doesn't mean they're going to get a bunch of business from this keyword, but it's still giving the site a lot of credibility with Google because of the reach and the traffic that it's generating. How to clean a TPO roof, uh, the roofing. So they have a lot of different, not necessarily buyer intent keywords, but like more information research type of keywords, which again, still gives your site a lot of reach or a lot of impressions which is a ranking factor but this site could have done a better job of getting more buyer intent keywords such as what we find in my keyword research tool when you look at these sites side by side Matthews roofing has higher DR which means they have way better backlinks they're ranked for 580 keywords and this site has way less DR the site could actually use better higher quality backlinks but even with way less quality backlinks they're actually ranking for more keywords which means their content marketing is better. Considering they have only 90 yard, they, they're getting, according to Ahrefs, organic traffic 1,500 roughly. Matthews Roofing is getting until recently around the same amount of traffic and then from february 2024 they actually went a lot higher in traffic the latest reading 3000 with organic traffic this is a pie chart that i like to see as well where matthews roofing and linda home roofing they are like neck and neck in traffic and then you got championroofing.com in third place and then you got reliable roofing way back here roofing hernandez chicago roofing solution com Ahref is analyzing all the different keywords that these companies are ranking for, meaning on page one, page two, and it's calculating which out of these sites are not only ranking for those keywords, but ranking higher for those keywords. If you go to content gap here, you're going to be able to see keywords that the competition is not targeting. So for example, TPO roof, only reliable dash roofing is targeting that keyword and they're ranked at the number 10th position. So if I was the competitor, like, Lynn Home Roofing, which I already know I have a much higher DR. I'm ranked for the tougher keywords. Google already sees me as an authority. I know that I can come in here and create an article for TPU Roof and I'll be able to steal traffic from reliable-roofing.com. And as you can see, reliable-roofing.com consistently has done better content marketing. They're going after keywords that the other competition isn't, which is why even with a lower DR and less backlinks, they're able to get all this traffic. You can go to even all intersections and filter by one target, which is going to give you all the keywords that only one person in the competition pack has targeted. So if I want to be the dominant force in this marketplace, I would look at all these keywords that only one person has targeted and I would start creating articles for these. But again, you can tell it's mostly reliable dash roofing that's done the better job of targeting all these different keywords that other competition has not. Let's also not underestimate the power of Google to give us free suggestion for keywords. For example, if you type in flat roof, okay, space, you have all these different suggestion keywords that Google will give you of shingles, installation, TPO, skylight, if you're serious about your content marketing, you will begin targeting all these different keywords because understand that even if you just get an impression and no traffic, it's still going to benefit your site. Let me explain real quick why just getting the impression will improve or will help your site is that think of Google as a search engine that's constantly trying to save cost while scouring the entire world wide web and trying to give you the best um, search results, right? It's not, it's a very difficult problem because every day more and more people are publishing more content on the internet. So Google has to constantly try to save on their cost because each search query, it's costing Google, right? So when you have a site that's ranked at the top of the search engine for the main keywords, let's just say roofing Chicago, roof repair Chicago, 
but let's say this site only has like five pages. And then let's say you have another roofing site in Chicago, even though it has way less high quality backlinks, so it's not ranking for the main keywords, but it's got like a hundred articles ranking for all things about roofing, like, uh, you know, TPO roofing, bitumen roofing, and all these different kind of like out of the general box keywords. Well, over time, Google has no choice, but start to look at that site as potential candidate to begin ranking for, for some of the tougher keywords on the first page, because if this site is doing a better job covering that topic in its entirety, Google can just continue to crawl that one site and it's going to save them in their cost because this one site has a hundred different articles that it, it can rank and serve up, you know, good content for all these different related topics related to roofing that fulfill the search query of a hundred of those articles. If it's all in one site, Google has to only crawl one site versus having to crawl 30 or 40 different sites. And this is one of the main reasons why it is valuable to gain topical dominance. Right. And then you can do flat roof space A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So A gives you flat roof and alternatives, accessories. Some of these are going to be more information based. Flat roof aluminum coating, whereas that is a very commercial buyer and tanky word. I would definitely target that. Let's check out B, C. These give you A, B, C, D, like flat roof drain, flat roof drainage. You can go wait like down the list and just go all target all these keywords over time. Yeah, you don't have to do it all at once. Another hack that I want to show you guys is type in flat roof, hit enter. That's going to save this keyword in the Google's memory bank. And then go back in here and type in question words like what is. And then because Google remember that, it's going to give you different keyword suggestions like what is a Gambrel roof? What is a flat roof? That's pretty obvious, but it also give you other suggestions connected to that entity. So what is Gambrel roof? What is the slope of a flat roof? What is a butterfly? I would not have known any of those keywords if I just typed in flat roof, whatever. So this is a hack where it gives you more ideas, more keywords that you've never even thought of. Other question words like how does, how does a flat roof work? How does a flat roof drain water? That's a pretty excellent question keyword. I'm sure your competitor has not gone after that. How much to replace a flat roof? How much is a new flat roof? How long to replace a flat roof? How long does a roof last? The more you come up with these different question words, the more keywords you're gonna find. Now, this is something that my team has been incorporating and testing as of late, but this is a pretty cutting edge technique to find more keywords that your competition are not finding. Most of you doing local legion, you don't have to maybe go this advanced just type in flat roof repair for example and then go into keywords everywhere because this is a very cheap tool uh, and keywords everywhere tool will give you a lot of different keyword ideas as well like residential flat roof repair asphalt flat roof repair emergency flat roof repair so all these like different words you want to start making note of those and you want to start including it in various pages that you're building uh, I mean, a lot of those keywords are very uh, common keywords that most people go after. So again, you have to think a little bit outside the box and go after keywords that most people are, are not targeting. So I think I would start with using my tool, keyword research tool at epay.com. And if you're somebody that's been struggling to rank, it might be that you are only going after these very common keywords that everybody's going after. And I have gotten some positive feedback already on my keyword research tool. Here's a comment here. Holy cow, Ipe, I just tried your keyword research tool. It's better than the big name ones. No joke, thanks. Loving this keyword tool, thank you so much. Yeah, so guys, check it out and it's free. All right, I don't wanna make this video too long, so I'm gonna end it here. Guys, keyword research is the most important step in SEO, especially local SEO, because most people aren't doing a good enough job to find all the keywords out there that can make you money. So get this step right is going to be a key uh, for your success in local SEO. I uh, hope you found this video helpful. Like and subscribe. I'm gonna keep coming out with more uh, tips and tricks in local SEO. Uh, if you wanna get more hands-on coaching and work more closely with us, uh, we do have a coaching program of 7,400 students. We have the biggest local SEO group out there and we do live coaching and a lot of support. So if you're interested in that, there's a link in the description for the coaching program. All right. All right, so see you guys on the next video.